All right, Shalom, I'm going to look with GMS on the go. I look back with another lesson, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. The gods of people here for a bit. McCall, this one right here, let your faith kick in. Look, you have been given the gift of faith. Then use it. Use your faith right about now. Use your faith. Let your faith kick in. You know? The gift, that precious gift that you have, Bashim Yahusha, I bless you with. Let it kick in. We're going to prove what faith is right quick. And then we're going to go into some things that the God of the Bible did. Faith. Faith that moves mountains, man. Faith of a mustard seed. Let's get this is Hebrews chapter 11. Because this is the time most definitely that you have to let your faith kick in. You have to truly believe in the unseen. This is Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. So you got to put your confidence in your how. You might not have no water. You might not have no bread. You might not have no job. You got to let your faith kick in. Do you truly have faith in your how about Hashem Yahushai? The definition for faith is a noun. Complete trust. Complete trust, right? Or confidence. You got to have confidence in your how about Hashem Yahushai. All things are possible. Remember that now. Complete trust or confidence in someone or something, man. Trust, belief, confidence. Reliance, dependence, hope, our hope. Look, didn't the scripture say hope in the Lord? Oh, children of Israel, hope in the Lord. Faith is to believe in something that you don't see. The God of the Bible always came through. Meshach, Meshach, Abednego, and Shamrach in the fiery furnace. They got delivered. They had faith in the Lord. Look, all these things were written aforetime, were written for our learning. Daniel in the lion's den. Read them again. Hebrews, and we walk by faith. Remember that now. We walk by faith, not by sight. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Jumping to verse 6. But without faith. Now, without faith now, without the belief, the confidence, the reliance, the hope in Yahweh, by Shemiah Shai, in the unseen. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. To please who? Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. So when you read about the different miracles, you know, hey, look, man, believe in them. Believe in them. Don't look. Don't let your faith waver now. Pray for more faith. Pray for more strength. Pray for more endurance. Pray for more courage. For he that cometh to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai must believe that he is. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Now, what did God in the Bible say? My servant shall eat, right? We serving your how about Shem Shai, right? We gonna eat then. The scripture says we gonna drink. But those that forsook the Lord shall be ashamed and shall be hungry, man. So yeah, is it, we living in some dark times right about now. The devil's going to come in like a flood, knowing that he only got a short time to rule. But at the same time, let your faith kick in. St. Mark chapter 10, verse 27. And Yahweh shy looking upon them, said, looking upon his disciples, right? Later known as the apostles. With men, it is impossible. But with Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh shy. For with Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh shy. All things are possible. With men, it is impossible. But not with Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. For with Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, all things are possible. So it ain't nothing for the God of the Bible to give you something to eat. It ain't nothing for the God of the Bible to keep a roof over your head, man. It ain't nothing. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, do all look, look, remember now, this is the power that created everything. You know, this is the power 
to raise men from the dead. With Yahweh, all things are possible. He can get you out of any situation, man. Any situation. St. Matthew chapter 14. Just a quick faith booster, man, early in the morning, you know. St. Matthew chapter 14. Verse uh, 15. And when it was evening, his disciples came to him, saying, This is a desert place, and the time is now past. Send the multitude away, and that they may go into the villages and buy themselves victuals. But Yahweh said unto them, They need not depart. Give ye them to eat. And they said unto him, We have here but five loaves and two fishes. And he said, Bring them hither to me. And he commanded the multitude to sit down on the grass. And took the five loaves and the two fishes. And looking up to heaven, he blessed and brake and gave the loaves to his disciples and the disciples to the multitude. And they did all eat and were filled. And they took up the fragments that remained, twelve baskets full. And they that had eaten were about five thousand men. 5,000 men. It ain't nothing for the God of the Bible to feed his people. It ain't nothing, man. You know? And they that had eaten were about 5,000 men. Look, besides women and children, man. That's a miracle right there. Look, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is about to perform miracles. The God of the Bible is about to, to perform miracles. Just like he turned the water into wine. He made the blind see. He made the deaf hear. He made the lame walk. You know, and then you have Bashim Yahushai said, look, 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 I can't, can't forget this. He calmed the sea down. He healed the sick. And he said, the things that you see me do, greater works are you going to do. Look, do you believe me, though? Do you believe me? Romans chapter 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. So the scriptures give us hope, right? In the midst of darkness, in the midst of doom and gloom, the scriptures comfort us, man. We have hope. We have hope in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Look, so, so what if some don't believe? So what if some don't believe? Romans 3 and 3. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith? Remember that faith. Let your faith kick in. Shall their unbelief make the faith of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua without effect? Yahweh forbid. Yea, let Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua be true. But every man a liar. As it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings and mightest overcome when thou art judged, man. It, look, it, it's a wonderful thing to be able to rely on a power that you know is going to come through. To believe in a power that you know is going to come through every time, man. The power that we believe in is going to come through every time. I spoke about this account, but I'm going to read it right quick. This is on Ecclesiastes chapter 2, also known as Sirach. Sirach chapter 2. We read this all the time. But, it, but, but right now it's fitting. Just for this, for this, um, lesson. So Rock chapter 2, verse 15. Matter of fact, I'll start up some. Let's see. 6. So Rock chapter 2, verse 6. Believe in him, and he will help thee. Order thy way aright, and trust in him. Ye that fear the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai, wait for his mercy, and go not aside, lest you fall. Ye that fear the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh believe him. Have faith in him, right? And your reward shall not fail. Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. Look at the generations of old and see. Did ever any trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and what's confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and what's forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise? They called upon him. 
For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins and delivereth in the time of affliction. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and delivered him out of all his troubles. Do you have faith in that? This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and delivered him out of all his troubles, man. All his troubles. That's faith right there. That's faith right there. I want to get it. Psalm chapter 34, verse 6. This poor man cried, and the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, heard him. And saved him out of all his troubles. And delivered him out of all his troubles, man. Look, you can't beat that nowhere. You can't beat that with a bat. And I got two more scriptures and then I'm going to wrap it up. And I'm going I'm to I'm wrap it up. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 2. For unto us was the gospel preached. The good news, right? As well as unto them. The gospel was pre preached to the whole for elect and two thirds, right? The whole earth as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them. Did not profit who? Two thirds. Not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. So when the scriptures tell us to believe in something that we don't see, look, look, we was given a gift of faith to believe in it. Two thirds wasn't. So they're going crazy right about now, tearing the grocery stores up. Now we go get what we got to get, some waters, some bread, some meats, whatever we got to get. But we still put our trust in your house by Shemel Shah. Because look, sooner or later, that might run out. Then what? The Lord had ravens bring men food, okay? The Lord had other men bring other men food. And look, there's nothing impossible with your house by Shemel Shah. Remember that. We all got to remember that. It's nothing impossible with your how about Shemia was shy. What does what the scripture say? The very hairs on your head is already numbered. The hairs on your head is numbered, man. First Thessalonians chapter 4. Verse 18. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. So we're comforting each other with the words of your how about Shemia was shy. Remember, he healed the sick. He calmed the sea down. He fed the multitude with a couple of fishes and a couple of loaves of bread. Healed the blind. Look, he brought the dead back to life. All kind of miracles. Yahweh Bashim Yamshah did all kind of miracles. And look, and we must remember this. Look, everything that was written aforetime, then we just read, was written for our learning, that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope, man. I got one more. St. John, chapter 2, verse 23. Now, when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover, in the feast day, many believed in his name when they saw the miracles which he did, man. So you have but Shemel Shai is going to show sure enough perform some miracles in this day right here. And all you faithless dogs made it may you have but Shemel Shai put you to death, man. Alright? And Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel was edified. Look, let your faith kick in. Shalom.